those vehicles become monumental, would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Here we have our next rider in. We're going to see uh, Bonanza and Catherine Passmore. This is a, a new ride for Catherine. She just recently, you know, went to Europe and got a few new horses, and we saw her on one of the new ones last night in the Puissance, and she jumped a couple rounds and then decided, you know, she was going to save her horse. I was hoping to see her come back and try to jump that big wall because I thought her horse right off the bat early rail at fence number two. And it looked to me like she took that an ounce for granted. She it, marched yeah. up there in seven and just kind of looked like she left it up to the horse and had yeah. the back rail. I have to agree with you. You know, these are big white oxers, and this is a big, scopey horse. I mean, it really gets up in the air. But, you know, again, like I was saying about Leslie, I think maybe she just underestimated that she just, as you said, she took, I think she took it for granted the second jump, and the horse jumped up and just didn't quite get across. You know, where they are at that double, she rode strong into that oxer. I think Conrad is, is such a brilliant course designer. His courses end up being deceivingly difficult. Very reminiscent of Bert and Emothy's courses. And Catherine's leaving strides out everywhere. From three to four, she left one out. And then again, from nine to ten, she left one out here. Oh, again to the triple. Four strides. That looked planned. Oh, I think she is planning it. It's I, Everywhere she's left out, I... I I really didn't see four to the triple, but that was that was amazing the way the horse jumped that triple. That was that was a shame. That she really should be in the jump off. That horse jumped an amazing round. Now, what to me is interesting here, riders and trainers watching Catherine go might be starting to realize there's some more options on this course than they originally 